All right, look, we got uh, Bobby J in here. It's the Blue Light Cat Podcast. What is that? You might know him from uh, one of the biggest shows ever, Wildin' Out. For sure, for sure. How did you get discovered uh, by Nick? Uh, Well, me and Nick, Nick been knowing me since I was like, probably like eight or nine years old. Uh, wow. Yeah, I met Nick at the Kids' Choice Awards like a long time ago. And uh, he had already told me that he like had a movie idea he wanted to do with me. And uh, he had a TV. He wanted to give me like a talk show. Right. So... uh. We had tried that. We tried to do two talk shows on MTV. Um, they didn't pan out. We did a movie together, School Dance. Mm -hmm. uh, it was good. It came out. You know what I mean? Got good reviews. Hood classic is okay. what I like to call it. If you ask me, School is Dance is it on Tubi? Hood classic. Um, no, we look. We 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 on stars and shit. Okay, like, good. Right. We, hey, listen, we, ain't, we, ain't, we the might new be on classics too, are all though. on Tubi though. We might be on Tubi too though. I think we everywhere. I Tubi's think we on wild. Tubi. I think we on. You ever just watch Amazon. Tubi movies for fun? Hell yeah, sometimes. They're fucking wild. They're hilarious. I feel like I could be a director and get a movie on Tubi. You could be you could direct and star in, a, off, in off the same I, Tubi movie. Off of iPhone. Off your iPhone, for sure. For With sure. no audio, no microphone, just off everything off the iPhone. So what were you doing like um prior cause if you were at the Kids Choice Awards when you were nine, what were you doing at nine? Were you like a uh, I was the, on I was doing uh at the time I think I was doing Tracy Morgan show on uh, NBC. So you were time. on his show? Yeah, I played his son. Oh. Yeah. Then I've seen you before. Yeah, probably more than likely. How about yeah? I love Tracy Morgan. Yeah, from there on, I did uh, I did that so Raven, and um, oh, you just ran the gauntlet, huh? Yeah, I was, I did, I was standing. Who was so cooler, Raven. Uh, Raven Simone or Tracy Morgan? Um, I'd have to say, for different reasons, both of them was equally cool in my opinion. Very political. Only reason, only reason why though is because like. Tracy was like, that was like a like a like a big bro, like you know what I mean, like a like he was an OG figure in right. my life. Raven was like a big sister, so they mm -hmm. both served like a, a dope purpose and at a good time in my life when I'm out here working, I'm away from a lot of you know what I mean biological families. So, right, you know what I mean. Trey would take me and we go shopping, we hit the mall, you know what I mean. Raven would take me to hang out, we go to lunch and stuff like that. My big sisters back home would do. So they both served a, a dope. Right. in my life when I was young coming up in the industry. Both were cool though. Love. Hell yeah. Super cool. Are For you sure. still close with either of them? Yeah, I actually just talked to Raven probably like a few months ago at, 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 if that, like if it wasn't more recent than that. I, I recently just talked to Raven though. Were you working with Orlando Brown on that show? Yeah. When you were working with him, did you have any idea that he was as crazy as he is? Orlando's not crazy in my opinion. Well, he's Orlando, just, Orlando's one of the most talented individuals. Very talented I've guy. Ever worked with his in interv my, his in interviews fucking life. are fucking wild though. I think he does that because he's he's an he's an intelligent person. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get clicks. He knows how to get he knows what it takes. He's like, like a walk. Like he's, yeah, he's definitely like viral. He just, yeah, he, he wanna go viral. That's all it is. I don't believe he's he's not crazy at all. Orlando right. Orlando got sense. Believe me when I tell you the boy got all the sense. Y'all could thank that man. Crazy. Some people could have crazy. too much sense though. Maybe that you that could I mean? be it. Yeah. But one thing about it, the boy ain't crazy. If you mm. ask me, he know what he's doing. So when you guys, you were working with Orlando on uh, that's so Raven. Did you guys have a close relationship back then? Yeah, that was my dog, man. Yeah. Like he was in the music, so you know what I mean. One of the people that helped me learn how to like really write raps, and you know what I mean, was a big bro figure as well. Like, wow. like kind of you know what I mean. He was a dope dude growing up, and still is in my opinion. Like I don't, nah, he's very don't listen. Him, he's like, entertaining. If, if if you don't know him personally, if you ain't see the side of him that I seen, and sorry for you, but I know that nigga in a real way. So he's he's, a good dude. he's entertaining. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. No, I just absolutely not. Feel like he's, he'd be saying some wild shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but a lot of niggas do. They just pay attention to him because, like, oh, he was on Disney, so what? Well, he not he not allowed to say wild shit. That's true. You know do I mean? you ever feel like that you had to shake that for a while, being like the Disney Channel guy? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But one thing about it is, I've always been me. Like, if you believe I'm a Disney Channel nigga, that mean that's just what you believe. I don't really give a damn. Like, I was just wondering because, like, you know, I feel like if you're you know, we've seen so many people come from the Disney Channel mm -hmm. on the pop side, but not as much on the hip hop side. Yeah. So it's something kind of different, you know? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, for me, if people do their research with me, they'll see that I started with the hip hop. I started rapping. I was coming up rapping Bow Wow. I did Apollo. I went through all. I did uh, Sally, uh, Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, all these. You, you was on all those shows? Man, I'm, I'm an OG, Kev. I'm not bullshit, man. I'm the OG, man. You ain't seen role models, man. Come on, man. I'm the OG, man. I know second. you done seen role models, Kev. Of course, Come man. on. You were on Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake? Yes, bro. That's the one Sally, two punch. Sally Raphael. I did all of them. 
Sally Jesse too? Sally Je- I did them all, man. Jesus. I'm a big dog, man. I've been doing this shit, man. I'm trying to tell these folks. You were on there just like as like the kid rapper? I was rapping, yeah. Yeah. I even did a... Uh, shit, I don't rap no more. What? Come on, man. I'm I'm an OG, man. I done so been you've been on... Uh, I done did it all in all the most unthinkable places, if you think about it, bro. Maury, who else done rap no more? I don't know, man. Come on, man. I was rapping on Maury. A lot Maury. of people needed to wrap it up on Maury. Yeah, that was the problem. They said, Bobby J, these niggas can't wrap it up, so you just come spit a rap. Fuck it. Jeez. What was, uh for you as a kid, which show was like the coolest for you to like be on? Because that's got to... Out of those uh, talk shows. By, uh, talk shows? Okay. Yeah, um, out, of, out of the ones we just talked about. The, you know, the toxic ones. <laughs> I probably have to say Maury just because I was a little bit older and I was more familiar with Maury by the time. I wasn't that familiar with Sally and Ricky Lake and James Jones when I had went on them. I was still only like five years old at that time, five, six years old, yeah. somewhere like that. But by the time I made it to Maury, I had already seen Maury on TV. Like I, You could probably see it. It's somewhere on the internet. You'll see me. I had a Maury. I did the Maury impression. You know what I mean? Like I did the whole how niggas be when... Uh, when the baby ain't there is when they find out. It's funny. I did that 20 years ago before it became a meme. Right before it was a thing, yeah. Yeah, but I did that 20 years ago on Maury. Like, you can find that somewhere, I swear to God. Like, it's funny as hell to just see that type of shit now. But, yeah, like. If you think back to those, like, talk shows, like, some of the premises of those shows were absolutely wild. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be like, a trans member of the KKK <laughs> reveals that his son is black. Next. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, whoa! What the fuck? What Where the do they fuck? find these fucking people? <laughs> <laughs> you That's know crazy. it too. It'd be like a nah, for sure, for sure though. Nah, for sure. Shout out to you. Just didn't make it to Jerry. Nah, I ain't make it to Jerry. I'm o- I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> You're okay with that. I'm okay with that. Shout okay out to Jerry. Damn, That's Shout wild. out to Jerry. But I'm I'm glad I ain't make it to Jerry. So for you, um, talk about like what, where you are at with the music now. Like obviously putting out music. Like are yeah. you fully? committed to the music shit or i mean you're just an entertainer I mean, right yeah i'm still a, i'm a, i'm i'm still an entertainer at the end of the day you know what i mean i still do wilding out of course right uh got new episode season 19 and 20 airing right now you wow know what i'm saying 20 years uh, yeah for sure and um fucking uh the music is like that's my first love that's always gonna be a part of me that's always gonna be who i am and what i am and the way for me to express who bobby is like people gotta people gotta be able to separate the entertainer and the roles I've played, and right? Things you've seen me do on television from who I am as a real in real life, where I come from, right? Why I am the way I am, how I was brought up, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. people don't people tend to not understand, like, oh my gosh, how are you hood or how are you or a gangster or how are you this that and the third or whatever the case? And you were doing this, I said, I I'm one of the few that didn't change and on where I came from. One of the one of the few to stay true to where I came from. I can't. Well, I think there's that. like a difference between being like real and being like a gangster. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's just like a real dude. Like right. in my definition of gangster is the fact that nigga, I bought my mama a house. I moved my family out the Facts. ghetto. I, 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 I allowed my family to see different things and and, and, and more opportunity than they would have seen if I had not been blessed to do the things that I did. Like that's gangster to me. It ain't gangster to do nothing illegal. What's gangster to me is being able to change the trajectory of your family, for so being sure. able to put your family in a better position and better predicament. You feel what I'm saying? So, but people have it misconstrued. So they feel like when I talk the way I talk and when I speak on the subjects that I do speak on in my music, that I'm portraying a, some other type of lifestyle that right. what they consider gangster. But that's not what it is. I'm being me. I'm speaking on things that I know, things I came up around, things that I've done in my own personal life. Mm-hmm. That's why I said people have to learn to separate the entertainer and the roles I play from me. If you want to get to know me, just listen to the music. I'm not being nobody but me. I'm not speaking on nothing but the things that I know, the things that I've experienced. What up, y'all? We got to stop the interview to tell you about our folks at My Bookie. Look, baseball season, it is back in full swing, and My Bookie, your one stop shop. For everything you need to get money off of your favorite baseball teams, your favorite baseball players, all the betting needs, they got you, man. So many different options, including money lines, the run lines, totals, futures, all of it. My bookie gives you plenty of ways to bet on your favorite teams and players and get some of that money. You can also take advantage of the brand new My Bookie Money Bag. It gives you the chance to secure a bet on your favorite team or player at crazy boosted odds. What you got to do right now, sign up at my bookie, use the promo code bootleg to secure a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. Now, how that works is if you deposit $200, you get to play with $300 instantly. That's what we're doing, all right? All you got to do is use that promo code bootleg to claim your bonus ASAP. So look, if you're a baseball fan, there's so much excitement when it comes to betting baseball. You know... I would say baseball is one of the funnest and easiest 
sports to gamble on if you really know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, plus, we got the NBA playoffs coming. So much happening with the playoffs. We got the play-in tournament. We got the, uh, let's see. I love the series, the Cavaliers versus Nets. Knicks, because the Nets are not playing the Cavaliers. The Knicks are. Wrong New York team. Suns versus Clippers. Fucking hammer the Suns. Minus 200 to beat the Clippers. It's going to happen, all right? So look, go to my bookie right now. Sign up with that promo code BOOTLEG and get that first deposit bonus, ladies and gentlemen. It's so easy. I promise you, my bookie's got it covered for you. Baseball, uh, of course, basketball, NBA playoffs, futures. You go, I mean, they got the casino popping. They got blackjack. They got roulette. They got it all. Mybookie.ag, promo code bootleg Kev. Promo code bootleg, actually. Go sign up. You'll see it. It's right there. And we got to give a big shout out to the good folks at Blue Chew. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting a little hot outside. That's right. It's getting super hot. It is getting hot. Finally tired of this fucking cold ass weather you know what that means it's fucking season baby that's right if you are you know maybe dealing with a little erectile dysfunction it happens to the best of us you don't have to be an old guy to get ed you might just have a we don't even say what you might have but maybe you're dealing with stress at work maybe you're dealing with stress at home and you're not performing up to par maybe your penis could be a little bit more harder Let's be honest. That's really what we're talking about here, right? Go to bluechew.com right now and uh, use the promo code bootleg and you can get a month supply for free. That's right. A month supply for free at bluechew.com. Now, a lot of people are asking, what is Blue Chew? How does it work? Does it work? One, of course it works. Two, how does it work? It has the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's in a blue chewable tablet. Yes, it's a chewable all right? And the best part about it, you don't even have to go to the doctor's office to get it. It's all online. You don't have to have any sort of embarrass, embarrassing conversations with people in regards to, you know, your junk not working the way you want it to work or whatever the fuck. All you got to do is go online to bluechew.com and they're going to get you situated with your first month for free as long as you use that promo code bootleg. Free month supply of Blue Chew. Use the promo code bootleg. It gets delivered straight to your door. Discreet packaging. Plus, they got the new mint flavor, which is the same exact active ingredient as Levitra. So many ways you can Blue Chew, man. I'll tell you this, though. It's about to get hot as fuck outside. You're about to hit that spring break. You want to make sure you're equipped. You know what I mean? BlueChew.com. Promo code bootleg. Get a free month on me. All you do is pay $5 in shipping. What's up, y'all? Bootleg Kev here. Got to tell you about our homies uh, who are our new sponsor at the podcast. And it's so dope that we got to work with them because I've been using their product for so long. I'm talking about the homies at King Palm, baby. That's right. Shout out to King Palm. If y'all don't know, all natural, tobacco-free, no additive leaf wraps. All right? They're literal leafs. All right? And uh, when I tell you they're the best... Uh, they're the industry leader when it comes to the tobacco-free, natural leaf wrap situation. And my shit is this. They got these uh, amazing wraps that come with these flavor-infused terpene tips. And these ones right here, the Red Rains, are a movie. Shout out to the Red Rains because the dope thing about these is they taste like a goddamn energy drink when you squeeze the tip, all right? There's so much you can get when it comes to King Palm. So many dope products. Of course, their staple product is that empty leaf tube with the pre-installed filter tip. No need to lick or roll it. All you do is just pack it with what you want, some of them legal herbs, and get it in, all right? And check this out. Right now, you can go to the website, kingpalm.com. Use the promo code BOOTLEGKEV for 50% off. So much. We're talking about rollable wraps, hemp cones, and all the essential smoking accessories you will ever need for the smoothest smoke. Easy to use. Go order them right now, kingpalm.com with that promo code BOOTLEGKEV, or go to your local smoke shop, even that 7-Eleven that's on the block. They're going to have the King Palm. They are the pioneer of the natural leaf wrap, and they're getting you hooked up right now at kingpalm.com. Promo code bootleg Kev. Half off, all right? Shout out to King Palm. The watermelons are fire, too. I'm going to go with the watermelon and the energy drink, the Red Rain, gas, or you can just go with just the normal boys. You know what I mean? Man, who would like to smoke just straight natural, organic? Don't panic. It's organic, man. Free of tobacco and additives. Go fuck with King Palm using that promo code bootlegkev at kingpalm.com. Let's get back to the interview. Have you got to tap in with uh, Tech9 yet? Yeah, that's my dog. Like, we, that's my man's. I done been 
knowing tech since I was probably that's not what I've been knowing since I was probably like five, six years old. That's family. Like, have you been to the like strange music headquarters? The, yeah, the warehouse, the big. I heard man, it's crazy. Man, they got what? car washes and shit. Car washes, man. The man got all his merch right there. Man, the man got a. There's a billion dollar operation going on right there, man. My man it's got it going crazy. on. Nah, yeah, legitimate. Yeah. For so long, I do feel like he was kind of like the only guy, like nationally at least, getting recognition from Kansas City. But now, you know, you're doing yeah, your thing. Obviously, absolutely. shout out to uh, Sleazy World Go. Absolutely. Is there anybody yeah. else out there that you want to shine some light on? Um, yeah, man. It's a lot of young people coming up out my city. Um, we got my boy Flash Gotti. Um, he's a dope rapper coming out of Kansas City. That's one of my close partners. That's my brother. Uh, you got a lot of. Let me see who else we got coming out of the city, man. You got uh, my boy Steph up coming out of KC, man. You got uh, uh, it's a young lady by the name I think Sky Sky Cali or Sky Calais or something like that mm. coming from Kansas City. Young lady is dope. dope. She's a rapper. Um, bro, we got so much talent. Like you be you be. We got a young nigga named Twenty Two. Uh, and the fucking Super Bowl, young Jesus. boy. Yeah, we we win in Super Bowls. We got all type mm. of talented musicians and artists coming out, bro. Kansas City, just just keep your eye on Kansas City, man. Just keep your eye on us, man. We got some shit coming, man. Is it weird, like, because I feel like I'm, as somebody who's not from LA, do you where do you stay at? Do you stay out here? Do you I live st- in LA. Yeah. You live in LA. Yeah. You can't wear the KC hat in certain areas. Yeah, you can't. Uh, I, I mean, just be in the it, valley, so like, I can wear whatever hats. But yeah, you know I'm saying I live in I live in a nice area. So I yeah, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, you know, there's live, like I, I feel like the KC has like a very like, specific hat you can't wear. Yeah, they do. They got like the I think the the, the Royals cap you can't wear in certain spots of L. A. Like I say, I live in a nice area, so I wear whatever hat whenever I want to. That's fair, man. Check you out, mm-hmm. yo. So you were in role models. You were the little kid in role models. Yeah, man, ain't me, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Who was in that? Was that the uh, dude from American Pie in that movie? Yeah, and Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd uh, and, and uh, Chris Mintz Plus from Superbad. What, what's the kid's name or the dude's name from uh, American Pie? Uh, Sean William Scott. That's Sean my dog. Man. That one. That's one of my favorite. Yo, he's I've fucking hilarious. With. Man, that nigga crazy. I want to know like what happened to him, bro, because he was in everything, and I really enjoyed Shit. him in movies. Nigga, and I feel that like that kinda... nigga ran up that bag and got out the way. Yeah. What the fuck? What are you? What are you supposed to? Do? I mean, shit. When you run it up, you can go sit your ass down for a couple of years. And that do was what the you one where do. you guys were like in the park, like doing like the jousting and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're the kid in that movie. Come on, man. you were the badass kid Come in that on, movie. Get into it, man. It is what it is, man. It now is. you're you didn't you didn't get much taller. No, I told <laughs> I've been told in that. I've been told in that. I'm the same size. I just I just grew in a you know I mean look. I got grown in the face region, but I ain't really grow this much. I was like a good that. movie. Yeah, it was fun. That was a fun movie film. Like I said, Sean William Scott, probably one of my favorite people I ever worked with too. He was I great. Know. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I love Stifler, man. One of his best yeah, characters. My dog. Ever. Yeah. Who else? and then the dude from the dude the McLovin was in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, Chris Mins Plus. Yeah, yeah. I just spoke with him not too long ago. That's my guy too. People don't know he do he he's in the music. He's behind a lot of voices and things in the music, bro. That man is the hey man. That dude's a talented dude too. For you, is it like kind of cool to be so like multi talented where you can go and get an acting bag, you can go get the music bag, you can go to TV? Like, have you ever done any voice work for cartoons or anything or tried yeah. to do any of that? Yeah, I done did uh I done did Boondocks. I done been on Boondocks? Uh, yeah, I Which did. Which episode? Uh That's my the La Milton to Shine episode, the smokes with cigarettes. Was but that season three? I cannot remember. Because if it was season three, I, didn't, I can't quite remember exactly. Season, what season three is when Aaron McGruder left, and I was it's kind of nah, good. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what season it was, but I know it was a. Uh, I did that. I did a Shark Tale with Will Smith and all them peoples. I did. Oh, that's great. I did the original Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh, yeah. okay. I had, I did a couple different uh, yeah animation voice work. That's dope. Situation. Would you ever so. get into like uh, writing any TV or like trying to like do scripts um, or anything? Yeah, 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 for sure. Absolutely. That's something I definitely am going to and then currently, you know what I mean, developing That's certain dope. situations and things like that and content to produce on my own for sure. Um what talk talk about the music. What do you got out? What do you got coming out? Uh right now I got a single out called Immediate. Um dope record. It's the first single off the project, the EP. You know what I mean? A little small, a little, little sample platter. I'm going to get a four, little four record EP, man, called No Cap in Volume 1. Just let them know ain't no cap involved, man. Just get to know Bobby. It's the real me, man. It's what it is. It's what it's going to be. You did what I'm saying. Any um, features? No. I ain't. I, I probably won't. I probably won't do no features because I want to earn my respect on my own first. Mm. I don't want no. I don't want no. I don't want no handouts from no. Even if I get a feature, I probably won't release it until I feel like I'm respected as a standalone artist first. Right. I don't want to take the feature out to you. Know I mean, let a nigga boost my. Who could you get a free feature from right now if you wanted though? Tech Nine, I think would do it. Obviously, yeah, I could probably call Tech Trade the Truth. I can. I can put, yeah, I can Trade put a call nice. in. I think I can get a call in to Jim Jones. I think I can get a call in to a couple people that that fuck with me for the free ski. Do you think if Nick Cannon gave you a feature, you'd use it? 
Mm, it depends <laughs> on the record. It depends on the record. I'm terrible. It depends that. on the record. It depends. I mean, but Nick done made some hot records. He yeah. don't always release. Jig- all the, Jigolo listen, was great. Listen, listen, I will say this. Nick has a lot of great unreleased music. Now, I can't speak on the shit that he chooses to put out, but he has a lot of great well, unreleased He had a song music. with Chris Brown recently that I'm not sure if it was him singing on that song or not, but it didn't sound like he was on it. It was a good song. You know what song yeah. I'm talking about? It came out I'm like last sure. year. I'm he not sure. Nick, I was saying, Nick be having a lot, and he be behind a lot of shit too, like a lot of dope ass. He's like the hardest working guy ever. Yeah, by far. I very like. I, That's why I don't understand how he has the time to make all the children he makes, because this nigga don't like. So I know for a fact now you don't sleep, you fuck and you work, and you do it twenty four seven. Yeah, because you got to work to take care of the the, the Man, fucking the dude, part. The dude is the dude is a, he's a one of a kind fella. Yeah, have you babysitted for him yet? Hell no. Nah. Them kids my size. What I'm going to do? All of them. Even the newborn. <laughs> All of them. My size. What I'm going to do? Because I ain't going to lie. One cry and I'm going to be wanting to fight. We the same size. What I'm going to do? Like, what, what, where do we go from here? We're the yeah. same size. What do I do? I can't pick you up and rock you, nigga. Pick me up rock me. I'm stressed. You keep crying. I want to cry. It's just, I can't babysit, bro. I, yeah, only- being, a, being around him, do you, like, take up any, like, pointers for, like, how he's able to do so much at once? Because I always, I'm like, it breaks my brain to be like, this dude... He's doing TV. He's Bro, doing wilding out. He's doing the nigga, radio. The nigga is he's like um, fucking half of the world. He's he's a legitimate superhero. Like mm-hmm. he's like he does it all, and you never know really how he fucking does it. But you just know he's doing it all, and he's getting it done, and he's doing it efficiently because he doesn't slack in no parts. I think he's got magic in the turban. It's the turban. Bro. It's something. He's like a bro. genie. Man. Some, something about dude is different. He's wired different. He's, he's the baby he's, daddy genie, bro. He you're a different dude, bro. Make wishes come Shout true. Shout out to Nick, bro. You're Love a different Nick. guy, bro. you different. Hey, we got to stop the interview. Shout out to our, our great sponsors at Hard Dean Las Vegas. You see them? They gave me this amazing box to keep my things in. What kind of things? <sighs> Premium things that you can buy at Hard Dean Las Vegas. Yeah. If you're in Vegas, stop off at Hard Dean. Tell them I sent you. They'll take care of you, all right? It's the number one dispensary I've ever been into. The nicest dispensary in the world. They got their own fucking scent. They got the biggest, craziest selection of premium cannabis you will ever see in your life. You walk in and you feel like they, they just treat you like family as soon as you walk in, all right? So look, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to hardinelasvegas.com. Check them out. Go follow them online, Hardin underscore Las Vegas. And when you're in Las Vegas, this is your first stop. You don't go to the fucking casino. You don't go to the, you go to fucking Hardin. Get situated. Say Bootleg Kev sent me. I heard about him on the Bootleg Kev podcast. They're going to take care of you. They'll throw a little, a little extra on the, on the extra, you know what I mean? Go follow them, Hardin underscore Las Vegas. And, of course, you can also follow them right now by going to their website. Check out what they got going on, man. They got the gear for sale. They just dropped their own pair of feelers, HardinLasVegas.com. Got to give a shout-out to our OGs, my dogs at Odd Socks, baby. They've been fucking with us from day one. Um, and they've been dropping so many crazy dope new like socks. You know, first of all, can we talk about Beavis and Butthead? They just dropped the Beavis and Butthead socks and draws. Let's take a check. Just a nice little peek at the Beavis and Butthead draw skis, bruh. Ooh. Come on, man. They also just dropped Coca-Cola. We got Scarface. We got Reese's. We got the big fucking Lebowski. So many dope socks. The most comfortable socks in the world. The most comfortable underwear in the world. And check this out. Right now, you can get 20% off. That's 20% off at checkout at oddsocksofficial.com using the promo code bootleg. So go right now, oddsocksofficial.com. My first uh, uh, suggestion would be get you a pair uh, or a pack of the Odd Socks Basics, the black and the whites. Those are my go-tos. And then you got to fuck with some of these big Lebowski socks. And they just got Coca-Cola. They got the Scarface boys. Like, what are we talking about, man? What are you waiting on? They are the most comfortable socks in the world. Um, so if you're not wearing odd socks, you're just cheating yourself. You know what I mean? You're really cheating yourself. They got fucking South Park. Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Go to oddsocksofficial.com right now. Use the promo code bootleg. Save 20% off at checkout on the most comfortable socks in the world. Or don't and keep torturing yourself with those shitty socks you're wearing right now. Be a damn shame. Anyway, let's get back to the interview. Uh, what what was the moment on Wild and Out? Uh, what's like like your top two or three favorite moments on Wild and Out? Um, and who were they against? 
<laughs> uh, I think one of my like my my one of my top favorite moments is probably uh, a wild style. Like one of my first like times really getting off for real, for real in wild style. Uh, with my dog Chico Bean, man. And, shout out to Chico Bean. Yeah, shout out my dog. That my nigga, man. Uh, it was my first time, like really, like like kind of my coming out part. Right, 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 right. Like letting solidifying myself is like okay, this kid gonna he gonna he gonna be able to hang with the big dog right. for the seasons to come. I had that, and then I had one with DC that ended in an episode that was dope, and I'm like, yeah, all right. That was like my I'm here. Like, what happens like when celebrities come in that can't? Do the shit. Do you guys help them write lines? Man, sometimes, like, in, in the moment, we be like, we might come over and be like, hey, man, try to say this. But it's like, it's hard to be, be playing. They trying to probably think of some shit to say on their own, and you tired of waiting on them. They brain wrecking. You you trying to tell them to say something. Somebody else probably whispering in their head to say. It be a lot, bro. Like, but for the most part, if they drown, let them drown, bro. Also, like, we'll if, they're, if they're coming to Wild and Out, you would hope that. Even if they're not rappers, they, they have, have some shit something ready. type. Some like, do they at least? But like, we got a we got great a great team of producers and stuff that right. that try to help and prepare our guests and get them right. You know what I mean? So like, like, the will they know part, who be, they're gonna go against ahead of time? So at least they have something. Um, for the most part, like the the guests, they can pick who like, they want to. They can pick a cast member if they want to, like a person that they want to go after, so they can prepare for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To make it easy on the guests. You know what I mean? So it's, they have a good time. Who's been the most offended celebrity on the show since you've been on? Mm. That just got super mad because I remember there was a that was a Black a, China that a got super mad. Azalea Banks was probably the wait. Nick let Azalea Banks on on the show. Yeah, that was that was the only episode where somebody was like really like super duper bothered. Like we had another episode where somebody like was bothered she's a very because of bothered me. Per- oh, wait, who was bothered because of you? I I, I don't want to say. Just it. say it. I don't care. She's just because she's she gonna be on Twitter in the morning trying to trip with me. Listen, shout it. I don't want no smoke. Rapper. Yeah, she a rapper, man. She's an angry little rapper too. She's so an angry. angry little rapper. Not, okay, not say. She's just angry, bro. She be tripping. Shout it be flashing out. I don't want no smoke with you on shawty. Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter in person. Shawty be Shawty like that. I believe Shawty really like that. I don't want no smoke with Lil Mama, man. Hey. It's Lil Mama? I don't want, not Lil Mama. That's not who it oh, is. Oh, so it's Lil Mama. No, it's not Lil Mama. <laughs> I'm saying I was calling Shawty Lil Mama like Lil Mama, baby. Shawty. Not Cardi no B. No, hell no. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Not not Cardi. Not not Cardi. Not it's not she's a female rapper, but she ain't like Iggy Azalea? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna get it out of me. You're not gonna get it out of me, Kev. Damn, Azalea Banks, man. That's that's signing up for... Huh? If you ain't catch it, you ain't catch it. <laughs> what city is this girl from? Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Houston? Atlanta. I said Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Oh, see, that's... They're not from Vegas, because I don't know anybody. So it, she's that's... from Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. So she's from Houston or Atlanta? Can we at least get that? Is it Houston or Atlanta? It, it's Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Okay, I don't know. What she that was means. born in Houston, but then she grew up in Atlanta, but then she moved to Vegas. She was selling a little pussy. She was selling pussy. Well, maybe that's why she got mad at you, because you're exposing her, her business, Man, I'm capping. I just threw you all the way off, bro. I just shot her not from neither one of them places. Mm. Well, listen, man. Uh, new single, Go Get It? Yes, Go Get That. Are you, uh, like, when Wild Out goes on tour, do you go on the tour? Um, no, nah, I don't be on the tour. Yeah, he ain't got enough money. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. I just don't be on the tour. You're like, Nick, I need this. And he's like, no, we're good. Nah, Nick, no, that's my dog. I'll come on the tour for free if you ask me to. That's my partner. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. For free? For free. For free. Yeah, you got to pay for, for your own rooms? For Nick. You got to pay for your own rooms? They pay for the room. Okay, okay. Y'all got to pay me. Okay, okay. pay for the room. Make sure I get there first class like a player or Nick. Save me a seat on the jet. And you know what I'm saying? But if not, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Aaron, right now, the season. Yeah, new episode. Any movie stuff coming? Yeah, man, I got some stuff in the works, man. We cooking up some stuff. I can't speak on too much, but there's some stuff in the works. Cool stuff going on. All right, man. man. Well, go yeah. get the music. Appreciate you pulling up. And yeah, we're going to have man. this guy freestyle. I appreciate you having me. Different man. YouTube video. Boom!